What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sensei Chat at you guys with another video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the House of Legends update, aka episode 41, um, and we're going to be diving in depth. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't did so, make sure you do subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss out on future content such as this video here. Now, with that being said, let's hop into it. So as you guys do know, the House of Legends update is very, very, very close to actually being released, and DC did do a live stream today and the live stream was basically I'm um, going in depth and explaining everything that of course was going to be happening and of course going into detail um, as far as what we don't know and just giving us like a little sneak peek of everything that we uh, you know just to get us amped up so I'm going to be discussing all of that and um, I do have a few notes here wrote down from the uh, actual live stream itself and um, I'm going to be going over each one and uh, pretty much describing what each note means and of course I did grab these straight out, of, straight out of the live stream for the people who of course hasn't seen the um, haven't seen the live stream or of course heard any um, details so with that being said let's go ahead and hop into the first one so the first note that I have here guys is you can't free for all five and um, the punches are limited now this was spoken out of a dev's mouth um, specifically and what he meant by this was you can't just put your activate dual mode on and just go around and just and start dueling everybody you see like a free-for-all no um, but what you can do you can duel people um, you can have the PvP symbol above your head and still duel people and stuff but you just can't go around and just be like an all-out brawl like how you know the watchtower tries to take over the Hall of Doom or the Hall of Doom tries to take over the watchtower um, in that scenario so that is going to be um, stopped in the House of Legends of course um, you can still duel people with Cinderell and Vice and stuff like that so um, that's very interesting so that pretty much covers the first note I have um, the second thing that they did say was that uh, was this so episode 40 vendor is in House of Legends hub but will be replaced by next episode vendor so in the hub of the uh, of the House of Legends, you're gonna see a um, vendor, which of course is Cobble Pods um, vendor, which of course is the Flashpoint um, vendor that does have all of the uh, newer. Um, I scratched that the newest gear, of course, that we can get now. But once the Episode 42 DLC does release, then of course that vendor will be replaced by the newest vendor. So um, and then so on and so such. So that will save everybody a trip from having to teleport to Flashpoint um, Gotham or to pretty much any any of the open so whatever open world comes out in the next DLC you won't even have to go there basically I mean just to get the open world feats yeah um, and to get the bosses and stuff like that but as far as getting the gear you can just pretty much get that from the House of Legends from this point on uh, well I take that back from this DLC on so um, that's very interesting the next note I, ha I have here guys is um, you will buy allies from a vendor with source marks. Now they did show the allies that was uh, inside of the vendor where they showed how they showed where to get them from and of course I did look down and just see how much they actually costed and you do buy them with source marks and um, I did see Cyborg. So Cyborg was a hundred 100 source marks and of course I'm pretty sure uh, the one underneath that was 100 source marks so I am going to say that all of them will cost around 100 source marks so that is um that is a little bit of a grind but of course I'm sure that they're going to add ways to uh, actually get source marks a lot faster and of course they, you know they, the new DLC um, is supposed to make source marks um, a lot easier to get of course if you have seen my previous video um, then you would know if not you should definitely go check it out um, so that is definitely going to help everybody out um, as far as that goes so it shouldn't be that hard um, to get the 100 source marks now another thing I do want to mention guys as far as the uh, as far as um, that goes um, they are going to be adding um, also like pretty much a way to make more source marks so any older content that you do run you are going to be able to get the full amount of source marks from it regardless of your CR they are going to cap us and um, pretty much cap us to that CR to where you can actually get the full amount of source marks so um, that is definitely something to look forward to so off of that guys into the next note episode 
teleporter will allow teleport teleportation to any episode open world so what that means is they do have a teleporter in the uh, house of legends that's going to actually allow you to basically teleport to any previous episodes open world and in that open world you can get the feet so if you go if you go look at your feats and you say, oh, I need uh, I need feats from Chaos Gotham that I haven't yet gotten. Well, of course, you can just go to that vendor and teleport straight there. No more, you know, looking for the teleporter and, you know, having to ask people how to get there. You can just go to that teleporter and it'll pretty much take you straight there. So that'll definitely help out um, as far as feat-wise. Also, they do have a training room, guys. So in, they do have a training room. Basically, it's equivalent to the... Uh, the war room that is inside the watchtower and hall of doom where the spartan targets are and stuff but the only difference is inside the um watchtower the spartan targets are kind of spread it out a little bit you can't really test out your aoe it's more of a single target and uh, you can do a little bit of aoe but mostly uh, mostly just single target you would have to go to the league hall if you are in a league or in your base if you have these spartan targets in your base to actually test out your aoe um but in the new uh training room that's inside the house of legends uh hub they do have a training room like i said and the spartan targets there are on these pads right and the pads have you know three or four spartan targets grouped together so it's all aoe inside the uh training room as far as i've seen as far as i've seen inside the live stream they are grouped together for the aoe um so that's going to be uh, that's going to help a lot of people out. You won't have to really go to the league hall. And people who's not in the league, and they go to the training room, and of course they're going to be able to test out their damage there. And guys, this is going to be the last note here. I'm not going to go too, too, too in depth, but I am going to uh, go ahead and share this last one, this last little tip for you guys. I was going to save it, but I'll go ahead and drop it for y'all. So the last one is heroes can purchase villain styles from vendors inside the house of legends hub and vice versa so heroes is going to be able to get all of them awesome villain styles that you uh you know you've seen people wearing the uh punchline and stuff like that you're gonna be able to actually get that i'm not sure if punchline's a villain style but all the villain styles you're gonna be able to grab as a hero and then if you're a villain all the hero styles you're gonna be able to grab as a villain so that's going to help out a lot of, on a lot of feats. They're going to be adding a lot of uh, a lot of feats, I'm sure, like that. So that is definitely going to help out. Um, and like I said, it is vice versa. You know, villains is going to be able to get all the hero styles. Personally, I think that's going to help a lot of people out um, as far as you know, looking cooler and getting a little bit more feats, a few more skill points. But um, which, of course, I, I think they're trying to kick us out of the Watchtower. I think they're trying to pretty much let villains and heroes kind of come together. So. Um, I see a uh, separation. I see the separation gap closing as far as that goes. So um, I don't know. We're going to we're gonna have to see where DC does go with this. And um, they was also mentioning guys that um, they're they can't they cannot keep adding episodes after episodes after episodes. They already got like 42 episodes already planned out. Well, they got 40 and they dropped in this one, which is 41. And then of course they got uh, 42 already planned out. I'm sure they're working on it. So. Um, they, they're not going to be able to continue to drop episodes. Eventually, they're going to have to expand the game and make it more, you know, make it more complex. I know it's complex sounds a little, um, <laughs> a little bit too complex for DC, but um, I'm sure that they're going to make it all equal. So, um, so that's pretty much the notes, guys, that I do have for you guys that I did get from the live stream. Um, now. Like, like I said, guys, if you guys wasn't inside the DC's live stream, these are words and things that I did see from the live stream. So if you guys what did miss that, then of course here you go. That is pretty much all of their live stream in one little, you know, one little bundle, I guess you could say. Which of course there was still some more stuff, but I just kind of grabbed what I thought was, you know, important and then that you guys did want to see. So um, that's just, you know, just. That's just the, towards the beginning of the live stream, and I didn't want to really jump too, too, too in depth. I wanted to keep you guys on your toes, and um, so that's just a few things, man. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss out on future content. It's been awesome sharing these tips with you guys and um, sharing these um, these notes. So 
anyway guys i really hope you guys did enjoy i will see you guys in the next video peace i'm out